right, Shalom, Yasharala. It's Great Millstone, Louisiana Saints, coming back at you with another lesson. But before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. So today we're just going to go into a quick lesson on uh, whose favor do you seek? Because you have a lot of people that seek the favor of this world. They're, they succumb to peer pressure and and the people the, the people's opinions of this world, but the Most High's opinion doesn't change. So you would you'd be better off serving the Lord, especially in these days and times. So we're gonna kick it off with the proper kind. This is Proverbs chapter twenty nine, verse twenty six. Many seek the ruler's favor, but every man's judgment comes from Yahweh. Chapter twenty nine, verse twenty six. This is Proverbs twenty nine, verse twenty six. Many seek the ruler's favor, but every man's judgment cometh from Yahweh. Right. Many seek the ruler's favor. They seek the favor of these Edomites, so-called white people. They seek the favor of their family. They seek the favor of their, their so-called peers in the world. They seek the favor of, of Babylon the Great, man, the image of the beast, all right, democracy, the ways of this world. They don't seek the favor of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is going to lead most of them to take the Karagma. We had a time right now where you're supposed to be fortifying your mind and seeking the favor of the Lord because seeking the favor of this world is not going to profit you because when all hell breaks loose, all of these people, they're not going to be able to save you. Yahweh Shai is the deliverer. He's the savior. So he's the one whose favor you're supposed to seek. And you can't you can't be double minded. You can't be. I want to serve the Lord, but I also care about the opinions of these people because these people are bugged out of their mind. man. You, you can see the, the minds of these people. You can see when you go on social media. They they just they change from one day to the next, and they just get worse and worse and worse. And you can't serve two masters. So you got to verse at forty-two. Get that Matthew. This is Matthew six and twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yeah, come. It says, "No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon." Right. You can't serve two masters, Dave. You got to get that through your head. Either your master is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Or your master Satan, because Satan has this world. There's no, there's no gray area. There's no in between. There's no. This is my opinion. This is what I want to do. This is what I feel. This is my truth. If you're not serving Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you are serving Satan, and you are serving Esau, because Esau, he's the prince of the air. He controls the government. He controls this current world. So if you're not serving the Lord by default, you're serving Esau and you're serving Satan. So whose favor are you trying to seek? You're trying to seek Esau's favor. You're trying to get move up the corporate ladder. In 2022, you're trying to get that that new business started, so you can do what exactly? Where are you gonna go? You can see that the the vice grip is being tightened on this world, man. Regardless if you're an Israelite, an Edomite, or one of the other heathen, this man wants it all. He wants to put a karagma in every single person. And if you're not serving the Lord, you're gonna seek the favor of this devil. You see that? Yeah. If I could say real quick, these people uh, want to be a part of the world because of these so-called freedoms they have. Yeah. But we're coming into this uh, great reset this NW0 where your so-called freedoms that you once had are going to be heavily restricted. So even if you want to be a part of this world, this is not going to be a world to be a part of because you're just going to be a literal goyim, a literal per uh, perfect slave out here. All your thoughts, catalog, your movements, your purchases, everything. But hey, we seek that kingdom to come. We're, we're, we're going to have our freedoms through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But this is uh, 1 John chapter 1, well, chapter 2, I'm going to start at verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Wow, and that's perfect. And that goes right along with the Matthew 6. Because if you love the world, you're going to serve the world. You're going to fear the opinions of the world. You're going to be worried about, you know, oh, I can't go on the block. My boss might see me. I can't get down with this Hebrew Israelite thing. They hate women. They're misogynists. My girl might leave me. You, you don't serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You're not seeking his favor. You're seeking the favor of everyone else other than the creator, which he created everybody that you're serving, which makes no sense. Are right, you serving the creature? What does it say in Romans? They, they uh, serve the worship the creature more than the, creator. more than the creator, man. That's the minds of these people. They they look at the sun and see how beautiful the sun is. We got this melanin. We need to worship the sun. Well, who created the sun? That's what niggas are doing now. Is taking the actual stones, the stones that we wear, you know, wrapping them with copper to make the demon dolls, man. You know they're worshiping. Just like voodoo dolls are worshiping the stones, you got a stone face with a body. It's wrapped, the whole body is wrapped in, in copper, the copper, uh, the little copper twine. Little water and they worship them. They demons, man. I had to show you brothers, man. These demons. You know that's how bugged up niggas up, man. I got one for you too. 
you got some more? Yeah, I'll just go after you. Okay. This is Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 7, and I'm going to read down. It says, uh, verse 6, it says, Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, all right, whereby ye, ye have believed, shall be preserved from the set perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be a pitiful case which now have uh, abused my ways, all right, and they that cast them away despitefully shall dwell in tournaments. This is what you brother talking about next. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. All right. They don't know the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They know everything else other than the will of the Father. They know the will of their woman, the will of their boss, the will of their mom, the will of you know social media. But they haven't known Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's a great disgrace. For you to be an Israelite, someone of so-called Negro Native Indian descent, and you don't know your, your maker, man. Yeah. You bugged out. Got a little more. It says, and they that have loathed my law, while they yet have liberty, and when as yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it at the death yeah, by that's pain. Right. Yeah. That's how they're going to know the Lord. All right. When they get put to death, and they get brought, brought to the spirit world, they're going to see Yahweh Shai. They're going to see Yahweh. They're going to look back. At the life that they live, they're gonna know then. Okay, man, I was bugged out. That's why this is why you have to seek the favor of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Seeking the favor of these people that are about to die anyway makes no sense. Matter of fact, let me, let me get this real quick. And uh not pass you get your on you. Verse 16 back in first John chapter 2. For all that is in the world. The lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And as we get closer and closer to the end, we can see that everything is going even more clean, contrary to the ways of Yahweh Bahisham, Yahweh Shai. Just a small example. I remember growing up, pork and bacon wasn't such a big thing. But damn near everywhere you go now, pork and bacon is in just about every dish at a restaurant you order at. Adulteries become second nature. Uh, of course, you got the alphabet group. Everything is just complete a, a complete abomination justifying itself to be destroyed. And what we were talking about in the car on the way here, just the, the degeneracy of the women. The women are more vile than the men. Mm -hmm. You know, you think men will be more prone to doing and, and saying certain shit. The women are more, they open with it, man. Yeah. They're wild, man. They're more about the sex and uh, the erotic sex and all type of shit than, than what a man would be about, man. Con, hey, it's, it's become such a big uh, practice out here that even these uh, magazines, women's magazines and lifestyle magazines are talking about it, about how uh, pegging is the new, the new act out here. And for yeah. those who don't know what that is, that's when a, a woman uses a, a fake corn cob to sodomize another man. Proper man with Yeah. You. Cucking. A lot of you men into that shit too, mm -hmm. man. A lot of you Hollywood sports niggas, movie niggas, and every you everyday niggas, you because you follow that. That's a whole world in itself. And a lot of you niggas that, that are poor and don't have shit, you follow that world. Yeah. All right. And you let it. You let it. You let a woman tap your spine, man. Lambo legs, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> said Lambo legs. Uh, Rabbi Fingerstein said that. Uh, I think it was him, or, or was it Paul Harvey? Say that the show that uh same sex or uh, hetero, hetero, hetero hetero heterosexual yeah heterosexual to say that that's boring yeah, and yeah. then what to, you got to spice things up that was up. Harvey that was Harvey, that was Harvey 19, that, right? yeah. yeah he said uh, yeah that you got to spice things up bring other you know other sexes into the marriage you know have yeah. you know multiple have open, 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 open relationships open, yeah to yeah, make it more fun of because yeah. uh the right way is the boring way. All right, right, so they wanted Manella. to juice it up. That was Paul yeah. Harvey said that. Paul Harvey was like 1965. If I was the devil, if I was the devil, yeah, that one of the agendas that came to pass. Now look at it. If you ain't no freak, oh, we we done personally met women. They like, oh, you ain't eating booty. Yeah, yeah the, the woman yeah. that done told you, yeah. oh, you the first of the world. Like, yeah. god damn, you overly aggressive. Y'all brother forgot about I'm an alpha male. I'm yeah. an alpha female. I'm an alpha, alpha female. female. Yeah. 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 Uh, we, we ran into some, such thing as that. We ran into some chicks. Yeah, that come. 
they come, they come to regulate us. No. We say ain't nothing but demons. No. But saying I'm, I'm an alpha female. I take control. Yeah. I said, man, you crazy, you motherfucker. That's a damn demon, man. Yeah. And then they got niggas that tolerate that. Yeah. And that's what makes like, that like, actually like, like that. The men are watered down, man. Because yeah. men had don't man. Some of that. Come here, remember? DJ Envy? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Y'all heard about that shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, I ain't hear what he did. What happened? He's white. Yeah, cool. Yeah, he's a cool. yeah, 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 super cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? Yeah, yeah, he's a Will Smith. Yeah. All right. His woman sits on the side of him in the interview and says, For 10 years, I have been faking orgasms and moaning with this Ooh, man. Oh, we. He just sit down. A lot of women do that. He just sit down like, like, <laughs> cut the fuck out, man. Cut out, man. The, the new spirit of Babylon right now is this this open relationship thing. I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna get get one man, and then I'm gonna convince this nigga that he, he's not good enough. So I'm gonna get another nigga, and he's just cool with it. He's gonna pay the bills. And I'm gonna get routed out by this other Jake. I think this brother know it's a syndrome that men get. That they, it's a syndrome. It's a it's an actual uh, uh, disability. That, uh, it's like a man loves a woman to fuck uh, like. Cuckoldry, yeah. Talk bad about them and say all type like of shit. Dom dominatrix oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. relationship. Yeah, it's something. I can't remember the name of it, man. Yeah, they got a whole category of, of, of sick demonic disorders out here where, where men will pay women to to beat them up, talk shit about them, say you're worthless. I heard one thing where a, a dude will pay a woman to come with him to a bar and pretend like she doesn't know him and he'll walk up to her so she can reject him. Like, He's paying her to do man. that. Yeah. You love to be rejected. Humiliated. It's like, a, it's like a rejection syndrome. Like, like yeah. a, a fetish. A fetish for that shit. Yeah. <laughs> they have another thing called Fendom. Financial domination. Mm -hmm. You got guys just paying women to talk crazy to them, man. This, yeah. is, this is the time we live in. Men are paying women to disrespect them. Slap them. Twist slap them. Yeah. Yeah. All that's crazy. Step on their genitals, man. Yeah, we was with the hot with the stilettos. Oh, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. That's the spirit, This is what's going on in Babylon, man. Woman in power. Yeah. This is what happens when you don't fear the Lord. You end up just getting tossed a to a deviant. Yeah, a sexual deviant. That's and if I could say real quick, if you look at the history of every civilization that fell when it was in the, the, the decadent stage, right before it fell, uh, it, without fail, sexual immorality and degeneracy was, was uplifted as a high standard. And the same thing here. That was Rome all over again. It's like Rome remix. That's all it is. I have one more verse. Yeah. Verse uh, 17. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. All right, and that's plain. He that do the will of the Most High abideth forever. And these people don't believe that. They don't believe there's a reward in serving the Lord. That's why you go, you go into Wisdom of Solomon. When we get delivered, these people are going to be amazed at the strangers of our salvation, and they're going to ask, "What? Well, these are these are them that serve the Lord? These are the people that, man, we, we account their life madness. They think it's madness to serve the Lord. They think, like the brother said, they think it's boring." Oh, you righteous? That's boring. You read the Bible? That's all y'all about the Bible? Sh show me your opinion. What do you think? We think what the Lord thinks. We have the mind of Yahweh Shai, and that, that bothers people. That's right. Yeah, if it ain't fun, it ain't useful yeah. in this society. Right? The things that are useful, they look at as hey, man, that's that's nonchalant. It's obsolete, man. If we ain't doing this, like why you doing that? It's always a why you doing that on uh, it's controversial with you should be doing this yeah. but nobody knows what they should be doing all right because they're doing everything they have no limits to what they do limitations is out the window in the world yeah. you got you just have a free spirit man yeah. all right yeah, when we have always had boundaries and we got statues that the lord gave us on the left we can go yeah. with inside the law man yeah. or with things you know we can't we can't uh tread the line with particular things you know we can't add another woman in Though, yeah, we have multiple women or whatever. We can't add like two at the same time. time. Yeah, yeah. It's like, so it's statues, man. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. a governance. Yeah, statues are boundaries, man. Boundaries, yeah. Most of say, look, you can go this far, but That's don't go further than that. That's it. You could have two or three wives. They can't be sisters. You can't yeah. deal with another man's woman. Yeah. The, the Most High gives us liberty, but Jake, that's not enough for Jake. Jake wants the, the glory of the heathen. Jake wants to, to dibble and dabble in all of the ways of this world because they don't seek the favor of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. When you seek the favor of somebody, you look, okay, what's what's pleasing unto you? That's the way a servant looks at a master. How can I please you? Jake looks at the Most High like, how can the Most High please me? What can the Most High do for me? That's a, a bugged out backwards way of thinking. But then when it comes to Esau, he's trying to serve America. He's trying to serve the way of this world. How can I get further in this company? How can I kiss my boss's ass? You have these cool niggas with the, you know, Jake with the 800 keys on a keychain. They find everywhere to serve Esau because that's that's the king whose favor they see. But if, oh yeah, if Jake would apply that to the truth, Jake would be, you know,
know, on a high level, you know, I wanted to back up just what you said. This is Yahawashai speaking. This is Luke chapter 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but the Most High knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of the Most High. I just reread it from the top. This is uh, Luke 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but the Most High knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of the Most High. And that's plain. That which is highly esteemed among men, all right, uh, putting your integrity aside to make money, putting a woman above a man, following idols, serving serving mammon instead of Yahweh. These things are an abomination to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But Jake, Jake is all the way off in the world, man. He can't. This gospel is your last chance to get back in good graces with the Father. If you despise this word, you're going to be destroyed. There's no way around that. You can get uh, Acts 5, 27 and read through 29. But yeah, we, we had a point right now where you have to make a choice. You're either going to seek the favor of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai or you're going to be destroyed. There's no way around it. Again, there's no middle ground. There's no gray area in the scripture. Jake is in love with gray area. This, if I could just introduce a little bit of doubt, then I don't have to listen to these guys. I don't have to follow the word. Oh, the Most High, you know, oh, the white man changed the Bible. Oh, who, wh which version? Oh, that's the King James Version. I heard he was I heard he was gay. I heard he was this. That these are all excuses because you're not seeking the Lord. You never looked it up for yourself. That's a problem with a lot of you niggas. A lot of you niggas, you hear you hear a lot of things from the church, from your mother, past motivational speakers, but you have not nailed time, took the time to actually look these things up yourself. You'll find out what this brother just said. King James was, was King James was never gay. Those allegations came out 25 years after the man death. From a from a from a degenerate, uh, dis disgruntled employee, uh, disgruntled servant of him, man, it was mad that he demoted. Him. Yeah. That's that's the bottom line, man. Which you would know that if you actually did any research. Jake, Jake doesn't read any nonfiction books. Jake don't read any books. Blessed is he that read it. Yeah, blessed yeah. is he that read it. Revelation one and three. But Jake, Jake has an opinion about everything, but has never studied anything. <laughs> Bugged yeah. out, man. <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah, this Acts five and twenty seven, it says, and when they had bought them, they set them, set them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, Did not we straightly command you that you should not teach in his name, in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine, and intent to bring this man's blood upon us. Right. So right now they're interrogating the, the disciples for preaching the word, for seeking the favor of Yahweh instead of seeking the favor of the Roman Empire. And this is how he answered. Then Peter and the other apostle answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Right. We ought to obey the Most High rather than men. It doesn't matter that you don't want us to keep preaching. It doesn't matter that you don't agree with how we bring it out. It doesn't matter that you don't like the garments. You don't uh, agree with an austere man, men being direct, men, men using direct communication coming in that ancient world spirit. It doesn't matter that y'all don't like it. The Most High is actually pleased by this. And we ought to obey the Most High rather than men. That's that's if you're in the spirit of the Lord. When you look at everyone from, from Moses to Noah, Samuel, every man of the Lord, he, he stood up against the masses of people, man. You, the scripture says, uh, follow not a multitude to do evil. That's the actual commandment. I was holding that. I got him something over there. This is Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in the cause, in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Right, to rest judgment. You're not supposed to be tossed to and fro by the opinions of men. It says follow not a multitude to do evil. Just because you, you see a bunch of people doing something doesn't mean it's cool. You know, you have this saying in the world, they say there's power in numbers. No, there's power in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. There's power in the name of the Lord. And he could dwindle down the numbers just to magnify his name. So you're not supposed to look, okay, this, this camp has a thousand members. They, the truth must be over here. No, that camp is evil. The What's church it? is evil. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. What's it say, bro? Oh, it says, too, the same thing happened with Joseph. Joseph, they was out. They outnumbered Joseph, but who was right? Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that that number shit don't mean nothing, man. Because you know they'll pull a scripture. You said two or more witnesses. Yeah. Yeah. They don't even yeah. go for that. That don't mean Yeah, I know, but they'll pull it, though. Yeah, they'll, they'll pull, pull it. it. Yeah. They'll pull it, man. 
this is the back of the elder real quick this acts seven and nine and the patriarchs moved with envy sold joseph into egypt but the most high was with him and delivered him out of all of his afflictions and gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of pharaoh right. king of egypt so serving the lord the lord actually blessed uh joseph in egypt and all his brothers were envious of him but at the end of the day joseph just served the lord he was outnumbered, like the elder said, but he served the Lord and the Lord gave him favor in Egypt. So wh why would you go out of your way to serve people or to serve Pharaoh when the Most High is over Pharaoh and all of the people? Yeah. You know, it literally comes down to, excuse me, in this society, everybody runs in a, a wolf pack mentality. Yeah. It's like right now, if everybody broke out running, guess what? Jake's sitting down, Jake gonna get up and break out running with everybody yeah. else. You know? Yeah. They're not gonna find out what going on for this like, okay and then then move like that we we thinking we thinking you know with our minds for these people thinking of impulse that's why the lord called them brute beasts man that's why the lord said uh he he, he uh, alluded to them as being uh brute beasts dogs and different things of that nature because that's how israel we did we did on israel right now we already know what's going on with the nations right. israel acts just like the nations man that's why the lord said not all israel is of israel man you niggas act like the nation, man. Yeah, if you see a thousand Jakes moving in one direction, you can probably go the opposite way, man. That's your best bet. At this point in time, man, Jake is just a complete reprobate. Yeah. Just go the opposite way. Oh, I got it. I'll go ahead. Now, just to add to y'all, a righteous man, it says uh, that a righteous, a righteous man, God is a fast with discretion, man. Mm -hmm. He know it which way he do. He know it, you know, okay, I'm not supposed to go this way. He just know the direction what you're doing. Direct, uh, discretion is your prudence, your insight on what you have knowledge of. All right, this is this, this is that. But this is, uh, and like you say, you're not worrying about what's in your way or what's telling you to go uh, another way, man. This is uh, Psalms. This is Psalms. 112, let's start at uh, 4. Unto the upright, there arise a light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. Yahweh. His heart is fixed. Trusting in Yahweh. Man. Fixed means, you know, as, as it tells you in Hebrews, Yahweh Shah is the anchor to our soul. You know, we we bought a, the lake right now. You can see without an anchor, you just you could be tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. What's the scripture, read that last part again. It says his heart is fixed, trusting in Yahweh. Right, his mind is fixed, yeah, trusting yeah. in the Lord, man. He's not he doesn't have an open mind. All right, the, the ways of this world teach you to be open-minded. You're not supposed to have an open mind to wickedness, to idolatry. You're not supposed to be in an open relationship. All of this openness, no, man. You're supposed to be closed-minded to the scripture. Children in malice. He yeah. says, his heart is established. And pan, and pan. Yeah, pansexual. And pansexual type of nature. And All sexual. Yeah. yeah. Free spirit. Yeah. All sexual. Just do whatever feel good yeah. at this point. By curious. Type of Trisexual. Oh. Yeah. Tr nigga, try anything. Trisexual. Yeah. It says his heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he sees his desire upon his enemies. He shall not be afraid. Why? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is our, matter of fact, if you are in Psalms, yeah. Psalms 27. If you, if you fear the Most High, you have nothing to fear from these people. You have nothing to fear of the world. You don't even have anything to fear of death. Yahweh Shai conquered death. We serve in a master that conquered death. So wh whom shall I fear? You got it. This Psalms 27 and 1. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Of whom shall I be afraid, man? You're going to follow a man that can that can die? Matter of fact, in, uh, Isaiah 51 and 12. Yeah. Let me, let me read some more of this. Let's Let's some more. It says, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came up to, came up to me, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Right, they stumbled and fell. Why? Because the Most High is in control of your enemies. He's in control of anybody that you could think to follow other than him. So you're better off just going straight to the source. And if you were Israelite, 
if you're an Israelite man specifically, you have access to Yahweh Shai. You have access to the Father in the name of the Son. So why would you fear anybody else? We're above these people. We're above these women. We're above creation. We're above even principalities, man. Yahweh Shai is above. He's above Satan. Yahweh Shai is above Satan. So you you fearing uh, demons and goblins, Halloween. You got different. Nah, man. We serve a power that's in control of everything, man. Everything you can see and everything that you can't see. So whom shall I fear? What are we going to fear? Yeah, your fate going to be known when your fate going to be known when it's when you in the midst of when you in the midst of when it's being tried, man. Yeah. That's really when it's going to be known. Yeah. You can show fate now. It look like everybody got fate yeah. right now. Yeah. But the only way you know if you have fate is once it's time to what? Try it, man. God. That's the only way to determine it. God. All right? That's what Apostle Peter said. Uh, the, the trial of your faith is more yeah. precious than gold. The trial of your faith, meaning it's got to it's, it's got to be tested. Yeah, it's, it's, they don't want to say the trial of your faith working something. I can't remember. Working no. patience, God, patient experience, experience hope. God. I think that. I think that. I think, think that it. Would, the thing it is, yeah, acceptable men are tried in the, in the furnace of a adversity, adversity yeah. and make gold. The limbo, doing host this street. Doing host. Though and host should encamp against me, a host, you know, an army. My heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, and this will I be confident. And this will I be confident, man. With faith. Yeah. Khan means with. Fidelity means faith, man. Right, right. We have faith in the name of the Lord. So who should we fear? These people? The government? You read Romans 13, it tells you the most high set up the government, man. So if you serve in him, you don't have to fear any of these things, man. David said, I'm a, I'm a companion of those that fear the Lord. Yeah, the Lord. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> That's who my companions is. Like, you fear the Lord, you a companion of me, man. Yeah. Not, not, you know, not more, not less. He ain't say what rank, what size you like. If you fear the Lord, you my brother, man. Yeah. I'm your brother. Then at the, I'm going to say this too. After a while, being in the truth, you start to pick up that, that same mentality you had when he was talking to Pontius Pilate. Because Pontius Pilate like, I'm the man that, yeah. that, that actually... Control of your life right now, whether you die or not. Yeah, I'm like, no, you're not. Like, you're not, yeah. if I wanted to, I can call legions of angels if I wanted to right now. And you, when you start to be aware of these people, the government, the police officers, the army, they think they're in control. They think they're yeah. doing what they want to do. Yeah. And the whole time, the Most High is the puppet master, man. He's controlling the strings of everybody and everything that's going on, man. Yeah. And he gave us that wisdom. We actually yeah. know that the most high, everything that, that these devils are doing at a high level, geopolitics, which Jake is not into at all. Oh, no. But when you read the headlines, it's like, man, the most high said he would do this. We're reading Daniel. We're reading Revelation. We're reading the prophecies transpiring. These people, they actually think that they're important people. They're wearing the suits. They're going to the, these important summits and meetings. Yeah. They really think they're running the world, man. The most high runs the world. Yeah. And we serve him. You got that uh, Isaiah? Isaiah. Okay, okay. Okay. This is Isaiah 51, verse 12. I, even I am he that comforteth you. Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die, and of the son of man which shall be made as grass? Yeah, who, who are you? The, the Most High said, I am he that comforts you. Who are you to be afraid of a man that shall die? All of these people that you're trying to seek favor from, all of these people that you're trying to please, they're going to die. And real soon they're going to be brutally put to death in Jacob's trouble in World War III and the missiles leading up to it too. Yeah. You, you serving a corpse? You serving a, these are dead men walking. Yeah. We we have an everlasting hope in, in life and in eternal glory. That's what our, our conversation is in the heavens, man. We're not worried about what happens here. You know, we focus on our daily bread, doing lessons and, and so forth, but our mind is on on the eternal, man. A thousand years from now. Oh, the kingdom's gonna look like this. Oh, oh my palace is gonna look like this. Oh, your house is gonna rule this. We're gonna exterminate the Edomites. These are the things on our mind, man, the eternal. Not, not this world, man. Not not America. <laughs> this place is finished. It's clearly through. Clearly. Yeah, this uh, 2 Corinthians, just to go into that VBA, this song's 41 and 11. This 2 Corinthians 4 and 8, it says, We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Mashiach was shy, that the life also of the Mashiach was shy might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for the Mashiach's sake, that the life also of the Mashiach might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. 
So then debt working in us, but life in you. We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. Yeah, and that's plain, man. Our, our faith is being made manifest by our works, and very soon it's going to be made manifest. With that word, the word manifest means to make clear. The Most High is going to make it clear who he's dealing with, who he's been dealing with, and right now he's doing it through this ministry, through this gospel, and pretty soon it's going to be evident to the whole world. Like the Lord was dealing with these men the whole time. The Lord was completely against Babylon, completely against the, the wicked rulers of this world. So if you're serving these things, you're going to be caught up in the judgment of these things. We serve in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, so we could be delivered from that destruction. So it could be made manifest. But this is the, the Psalms 41. Yeah. 11. Psalms 41 and 11. By this I know that thou favorest me because mine enemy doth not triumph over me. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's plain, man. We're going to know in that day, like, okay. Yeah. These are my chosen, like it says in Ezra. In that day it shall be known, these are my chosen. When we when we see our enemies can't triumph over us, it's like, okay, the Lord's dealing with us. And we see that uh, verbally and spiritually on the block, you have these people, whether they're, they're scholars from seminary schools, whether they're whoever, man, anyone that comes up against this word, they get healed by the prophets. Letting uh, us know what? The Lord is dealing with us. Because yeah, we, didn't, we didn't go to school to get this. We didn't pay money to get this. The Lord gave it to us, man. Out really. of nowhere, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, many people have asked us, how you... I mean, how you? We don't know. <laughs> we don't, yeah, just come from Ohio, yeah, man. We don't know. Man. Yeah, this is Psalm 37 and 30 and 23. It says, "The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he that he that delighted in his way, though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholded him with his hand." I have been young, and now am I old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Yeah, the men of the Lord are not, you know, the scripture says, give me neither poverty nor riches. We, 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 the Lord provides everything he needs to his servants because he created us to serve him. Yeah, we're not just cast away. We're not just thrown away, man, out here, man. We have a power that gives a damn and cares about us, man. Yeah. And, and we believe. It, yeah. And we believe that, man. I, myself, other brothers that I know from other states, brothers, we've even been jammed up in situations, man. And the Lord, the Lord clearly intervenes, man. You know, we could we could be in a, in a situation praying the most high and the most high just intervene, mm -hmm. get something to happen, and have another third party come in and just totally shift the whole room around, the whole thoughts of the person in the room to and, and, it, and it falls in our favor, man. Where they've been at work, you getting ready to get oh no, I didn't see I didn't see uh Kaya do that. I didn't see I'm going no, they I was there. Yeah. They speak up for you, man. Yeah. But like I say, man, if we if it was up to men, man, we would be devoured, man. But it's it's up to the most high. Yeah. He's the reason why everything's happening the way it's happening, man. And we in the position we in. Nah, we did the lesson yesterday on how these people hate the prophets. If it was up to them, we'd be dead. Yeah, right. And a lot of them bring that scripture out, that vocab scripture out, man. Because a lot of you hate the favor that we have. You know, a lot of you people, just for a, 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 a quick second, a quick second, you can see the favor that the Lord cast down on these men, man. You hate that, man. You hate it. Sometimes you just walk in the room. You see people, you just see eyes on you. Yeah. What the fuck is this like? Who the fuck is this guy? And they can see you different. You know, other other Jakes, other Edomites, different nations, man. You different than a, a lot of other cats I didn't I didn't see or came past. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. But that's that favor from the from the from Yahweh, man. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah, it's see, not us. They see the light on us, man. Yahweh Shai is the light of the world. That's right. And he made our, our faces to shine with this wisdom. Even when you, you know, we don't have the garments on, we just in our day to day. People can see, okay, there's a, a difference about this Jake. He's not he's not following a multitude of duty, but he's not one of these peons. Yeah, I remember a couple of years back, an older woman, I believe it was an older woman, uh, across the street, she passes up from the side across the street and had to come back and say, man, I looked at y'all from across the street, y'all just have a glow about y'all, man. You know, I think that's a little bit before you brothers uh, came and stuff, man. But shit, like, y'all have a, a, a glow, an aura about y'all, man. It's the spirit of the Lord. And it's going to be magnified in the kingdom. In the kingdom, the 144,000, they're not going to look like regular people. That's one of them. Yeah, that's one of them. The brother dream, man. That's, God. that's one of them. That's yeah, this is addition to Esther. Uh, I think it's 13. I'm going to get it on the phone. Yeah. It should be 13 and 4. Uh, I think it's 13 and 4. I was going to you know, for edification of the camera. I don't want to see four and five. It should be, it should be 12 and 13. 
this one off the comment board real quick. Like, um, it's the brother Cabal. I'll just say the right oh, one. It's uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 21. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. And that's plain. You got to pick one or the other. You can't you can't serve the Most High and serve Mammon. If you serve the Most High, the Most High can give you money. Not I mean, make you rich or anything like that, but he'll, he'll provide you, man. He'll daily provide bread. you your daily bread, what you need to serve him. Yeah, this uh, uh, 13 and 4. Yeah, addition. Yeah, addition to us, the 13 and 4 it says, Declared unto us that in all the nations throughout the world that were scattered a certain malicious people that had laws contrary to all nations and continually, continually despised the commandment of the kings, so as the uniting of our kingdoms honorably intended by by us cannot go forward yeah, that's if i can just say real quick that's that's uh that goes into the nation of israel we have laws that are clean contrary to this world and we seek the favor those of the remnant those of the elect we seek the favor of yahweh bashem yahweh shai we don't seek the favor of the king and that that vexes these heathen man like who are you why aren't you bowing down to us why aren't you going along with with the agenda how dare you upload videos telling the truth no, no that's medical information they delete that video they, we vex these people just by speaking the truth. You know? Yeah, our people is pursuing their debt. Yeah. No, literally, like they're literally pursuing their end. Yeah. And they're going hard after aggressively, it. Aggressively, yeah. Don't the law, yeah, aggressively going after their own debt. Don't don't David say I go after the Lord hard or I seek the Lord hard. hard yeah. I go I go hard after the Lord, man. You know? It says uh and they go hard after debt. Huh. It's an even exchange. Look at it. I mean, Jake, go hard in whatever you do. So yeah. if you're not serving the Lord, you're going hard for Satan. That's it. It says, sin then, we understand that this people alone is continually in opposition unto all men, different in the strange manners of their laws and evil affected to our state, working all the mischief they can that our kingdom may not be firmly established. Yeah. And that's, that's what these people are doing to us, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All of these either really, but he's he's YouTube. like a special yeah, YouTube, Karen, whoever runs YouTube, man, they they have a special hatred for the men of the Lord. You could upload a video that's been on YouTube for years, but when you upload it, you get a strike. Yeah. But you <laughs> but you got the video from YouTube. Like yeah. the, the algor the algorithm hated <laughs> the Lord. Yeah. Everything yeah. about it hated the, the algorithm hated <laughs> the, the Lord. They the they made a, a satanic <laughs> algorithm, man. <laughs> Two years ago they said that a lot of you a lot of you YouTubers that work at YouTube has been persuaded by the men of the Lord. Nah. Persuaded by so-called uh what do they call it? Uh conspiracy theory. Yeah, conspiracy theory. That's for the mother food, the power in your house, you know, shot, man. All right. And it cause they make them, like you say, all they whole job, the the elites so you know the ones that's adversaries to the Lord, they whole job is to give it to do YouTube people. To be like erase this erase yeah. this so they start to get you know they, they start to start the thinking like hold on wait, this is true why are we wasting why are we erasing like they are nobodies they don't look like nothing they don't hold weight they're not rich yeah. it's like why we are Wait's censoring the, yeah why we keep censoring these people oh, there then it's the same men there must be something to it there must be something it's something to it yeah. right yeah anytime we're paid handsomely to censor a group of people that's that what they don't matter yeah like yeah. they don't they shouldn't matter yeah. the way that they look like they yeah, right. another thing you know when you start to the read poor. the scriptures when you start to read the scriptures with understanding and another thing you should see is, is the, the the way the room the shift when you read about your child the man that they came up the most the people that they come up the most get against that's probably where the right. truth is yeah that's right. probably the right yeah now, the that? way that the way that everybody goes that's a lie i was just about to get that it. false way man you want to go uh the way that everybody's coming up against even even like for this in gms everybody come up against gms but that's, it's for a reason yeah. you have yeah. the truth yeah and it's not a bus we didn't sit down and this clearly the most high's doctrine is with great millstone starting with the apostles all the way on down it's 100 percent truth that's why not only does the world come up against us but the world of israel all these other niggas with, with watered down doctrines because this is this is the truth this is why uh, apostle peter said uh, by evil, the, by by way of evil, the truth shall be spoken of, man. Because we have the truth. You got the uh, Acts, uh, this is Acts twenty eight and twenty two. But we desire to hear of thee what thou thinkest. For as concerning this sect, we know that everywhere it is spoken against. This sect, everywhere is spoken against. Who does that apply to today? 
who has spoken evil of, of all the other Israelite groups, everybody in the world, Fox News, you name it, man. People have a problem with the truth, the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because we're the only people that are truly seeking the favor of the Most High and not the favor of the world. That's why we're the only, through the Spirit, we're the only camp that even teaches the truth about Deuteronomy 22. This whole world is, is bugged out by the idea of a woman losing her agency, women's rights and all of this. So you, you break down the truth about biblical marriage, people lose their minds, man. And it's plain. The law is plain. All right. There's parables in the scriptures. There's dark sayings. There's mysteries and metaphors. But the law is straightforward, man. What to do if your daughter is abducted. All right. We're not going to use the R word. But basically, the, the truth of the Bible vexes these people. And whoever's speaking the truth of the Bible, that's going to be a sect that's spoken evil against. So you wonder, oh, man, we got all these camps. Why can't y'all all come together? Because everybody else is seeking the favor of this world. They're seeking the favor of women. They're seeking the favor of Esau. And we're seeking the favor of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's the that's a great division. And yes. another thing, the biblical times of these scriptures, just the times alone, the laws of the commandment demands order. It demands Done. it demands that you uh you you, you go the straight way. And they're against the straight way. Yeah. Everybody else wanna go the crooked way, the, the broad way. These scriptures are, are fully about the I'm narrow holding, path, all right, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. And if you don't want to serve that, the Lord, like I say, you all gonna get what you, what's coming to you, man. All right, go ahead. I, I he, he said, "Bring you hither before me and slay." Yeah, I, yeah, I was about to say that too. If they don't want, if they don't, they don't want to serve. If they don't want to serve. You are gonna get down. Yeah. Get down and lay down. Yeah, I got you, Mister. Yeah. This is uh, Matthew chapter seven. I'm gonna start at thirteen. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. That multitude doing evil. Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. The few that be that find it, man. Going back to Ezra, this the world to come is for few. This world is for many. This world is for freaks, weirdos, degenerates, heathen. The world to come is for few. So you will want to align yourself with the will of the Lord and the few that he's dealing with. That's, that's super plain. Whose favor are you seeking? Are you seeking the favor of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai or the favor of that, that wide path that just anybody could come this way? Anybody could be a Christian. Anybody could be a Muslim. That's anybody off, could be man. woke. That's all, man. Yeah. The Lord's dealing with a special, a tight knit, small sanctuary of initiated men. Hey, they call it a small, a little sanctuary. He elected and selected of Yahweh by Shem Shad, man. Right. And even in the world, with supply and demand, the less supply there is, the more demand there is for it. Right. Hey, the, the elect are, are that, that least in supply, so that, that builds up their value. Right. And they can't be challenged, man. This is uh, John 18, when they, they was questioning Yahweh Shad doctrine, about his doctrine. This law. He like, look, this is what I say. That's it. So this is the same with us. Life as we know it, it's been narrowed down. The Lord have let narrowed life down to us. Like, listen, this is it. All right, either go walk you on it, seek it, and that's it. Or go out the way and be destroyed, man. Like, all right, life is narrow. This is John 18. I'm going to start at 19. The high priest then asked Yahweh of his disciples and of his doctrine. Yahweh Shah answered them. I spake openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple. Whether the Jews always resort. And in secret have I said nothing. Why ask it thou me? Ask them which heard me what I have said unto them. Behold, they know what I said. That's Jake, man. Come on, man. Jake, look, why are you asking me? Go ask them. Say, they know what I said, man. That's, yeah. that's a super Jake, man. That's, that's, that's Jake. Yahweh Shah is the tribe of Judah all day. Oh, man. All day. That's why scripture says it is evident that our Lord sprang from Judah. That's a, a Jake saying right there. It's the ultimate Judah. And they know what we say. Yeah. Everybody know what we say. All my loved ones, people, and our relatives, they know what we say, they man. Know what time it is. And we ain't changing what we say, man. Oh, like that. Could we say it in the open, in the house? Yeah. In small congregations everywhere. You like, that, like that old Bakhti boy that came last week. He asked, asked us something like, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. I'm we well, said it. We stand on that yeah. shit, man. Yeah. We yeah. are. Yo, like, yes, I'm telling you, I'm I'm, I'm putting an address in my yeah. step. Yes. Yeah. Bold. Yeah. Return address. Yeah. Yeah, we're going we gonna to have to say it be, uh, before the courts yeah. that they bought Yahweh Shah yeah. um, up yeah, against the, the kangaroo courts. We're going to have to say it before them too, man. Yeah. They got us saying it anyways. Yeah. And if we didn't say it, 
they gonna put a uh, deface thing saying we said it anyway. I mean, they got the they gonna, they got the, the, uh, the he, algorithm. He, he, they got it. He, he, he got the servers and <laughs> yeah. they got everything, brother. Like, yeah. come on, man. He got all that shit. Yeah, yeah. deep fake. Yeah. 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 yeah, you know. Yeah. So, what what manner of person I should be, man? Yeah. You gonna serve somebody that can that can manipulate your voice, your face, <laughs> make it seem like you're saying one thing. Like the precept the brother read, we these people know what we teach, man. Yeah, they know. We we teach everything openly. All right, we, we, we don't teach the name Christ openly and then secretly teach our kid. Oh, yeah, I was shy. Yeah, <laughs> we have a five hundred one c three charter, so it's Christ. Yeah, we, we're not <laughs> dealing with that, man. Yeah, man takes responsibility for his actions. Yeah, and, and his words. Saying, what's the saying? The scriptures to gird up your loins like a man. Yeah, and that's exactly what we're doing. Hey, we're not we're not on the YouTube chat with a with a with a Spider-Man emoji talking shit. And then when you go to your page, it's nothing but twerk videos and, and uh, Minecraft videos. Yeah. You can see our faces. You yeah. can hear our voices. You can come out to the block and physically see us yeah. standing on our standing on, on, on the truth. Yeah. yeah, our aunties and particular people don't go out there. Don't be cursing, baby. Don't do this. Man, look, what mean you to weep? We not only ready to die for the Lord to be bound. We rather to go all the way in, man. Yeah, yeah. We done committed ourselves fully. That's no fully. turning back. What if when you look say? back, that's that's what's back there. Look, nothing, yeah, nothing. nothing man. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing's back there. We can't reach back. Yeah. You only can reach forward. You got what did Peter say? Where else are we gonna go? Where else Where we else gonna, gonna go? go? <laughs> I'm supposed to serve you. I'm supposed to go to church. <laughs> serve Jesus. Yeah. You're supposed to join a nation of Islam. Become a cuck. Yeah. Become a cuck in an open relationship. That's with, where this world is going, man. With the Jamba Juice. Yeah, man. You you boosted up. You like a human pen cushion. Your wife got a boyfriend. <laughs> pen cushion. Yeah, you you, you man. Yeah. Listen, man. If you're not serving the Lord, that's yeah. your future, man. Yeah, you, you, you bugged out, juiced up with your wife and her boyfriend in your bedroom, man. And shortly you're gonna have to scan yourself. Yeah. You're gonna have to scan your whole self, Charlotte. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be on the grid. You're gonna be on on the You're on gonna the be the grid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't be the grid. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be the whole grid. Yeah, they gonna they got the trick. They gonna yeah, trick. You to check in, man. Yeah. yeah, man. We check in with the Lord, man. They gonna Google you soon. Yeah. They gonna, gonna Google map you. Be on Google. Oh, there, there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> he moving. He moving. He moving. He moving. He moving. He in the car. Okay. <laughs> Con. All right. You going to the daiquiri shop? He can't yeah. go home because his wife's boyfriend is there. You gotta wait till he leave. He don't have a. Nah. Yeah. I'm about to say the stove poles. He can't get the pen in the pockets. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, come, on, come, on, yeah. come on, man. Come on, man. Can't go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. That's, that's where it's going, though. Come on, man. I mean, we're laughing, but that's where that's the direction on, Jake is headed. Cuckism, man. Yeah, come on, man. Right. Is it all time? Man. That, that open relationship thing is a thing now, man. Cuckites. Man. Yeah, cuckites. Yeah. <laughs> either, either stand as a man of the Lord or die as a cuck. Die as a hey. cuck. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Or die with your legs in the air like a damn newborn man like lamborghini like ankles by yeah. your ears the lambo legs man that's, that's what's coming for you niggas man Lam lambo legs come on man God damn, brother. come on man brother have anything else brother have anything else that's it nah you don't got i don't got nothing straight way right. close it out right. Right. straight way go go straight way to close okay. it out right. this is a Sirach chapter Shit. two i'm gonna start it for a six lambo wild brother that's a man wild brother. believe in him <laughs> and he will help thee Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fail. Or aside into the world, into that, that broad way of destruction. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him and your reward shall not fail. Your reward shall not fail. It tells you in Malachi 3 and 6 that the most high doesn't change. So if he said he's going to deliver his servants, that's what he's going to do. He said he's going to destroy Babylon, that's what he's going to do. He said he's going to restore, re, uh, reestablish order on the earth. That's exactly what he's going to do. We serve a power that doesn't change. You serving the world, you serving people that, you know, 20 years ago, you know, this was unacceptable. Now it's the norm. They, they change. Yeah. change Fuck, look at a woman to change her mind in, in 5.2 seconds, man. Yeah. Uh, These from, niggas. A, from a full commitment. Yeah. Saying I do everything. Yeah. The bed, the switch rain, up, man. Switch up, eat. Rent the paperwork. Yeah. Give me half the house, all the yeah. money, the chair, and everything. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. vow to stay with you through sickness and health. And now I don't. As soon as you get sickness and health. And now I don't. Pew, yeah. pew. <laughs> like, yeah. Again, this is why you have to seek the favor of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He doesn't change. If you're seeking the favor of somebody that, whose opinion changes every five minutes, you're going to be tossed to and fro. 
And this man's constitution, his, his whole constitution of America is, is based on amendments. Amendments. Right? Which means change, to yeah, change. To change. It's a constitution, but we change it. Yeah, how you gonna deal with a double like this? Double, double mind and man is it's stable in all his ways, man. It was to say, meddle not with them that are subject to change. Yeah. Given, yeah. given the change. Hey, remember, that, that was Obama's whole uh, slogan. Change. Yeah. Change, man. <laughs> yeah, change. You niggas ate that shit up and ain't, and ain't right. get nothing. Out of the deal, man. got worse, and he gave yeah. you freaks too. Yeah, he gave change to the freak freak about yeah. the freak yeah. president. Yeah. Change oh. to this, change yeah. to open relationship, man. <laughs> madness. So, with that, I pray your brothers were edified. We're gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, double honesty, apostles and elders, a great millstone, and shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom, shalom. shalom.